I asked the students to design a rapidly deployable isolation unit to treat Ebola and other communicable diseases. The first week or so, we had our consultants come in and we met and they did a debriefing with us. When I dealt with the students as we started this whole discussion, the first day of class, I gave them a 30-minute overview. What is Ebola? So there were tidbits along the way, but you don't want to taint their minds with telling them about the past. The value of the students is they bring a fresh perspective to everything. There were no guidelines other than the title of the project was a rapidly deployable isolation unit. We had 13, 14 days to work on it. You know, we just produced and we made decisions quickly and that's how we all each got very different concepts. I didn't want to make one building. I wanted to come up with a system that was easily constructible. These panels are made from aluminum, styrofoam, wood, and plastic. With just this one panel, it's five by 10, you can build essentially anything necessary that the people might need there. These mobile units would have to have trained staff with them. They would set up the mobile units once they got on site. They have to be simple and easily cleaned and maintained. I'm amazed that there's always room for new ideas. And if you allow and tap into the creativity of young minds, give them an objective in a general way and bring in qualified people who know what they're doing like Dr. Carlton, it's amazing what you can do to change the world.